Meh, meh, We don't actually have theme music here. There's music and logo. All right, I don't watch the show. This is a very hoity box from Abbey, Columbus, Ohio. It cost fifteen seventy-five. From Ohio. Ohio. Yatta, 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 yatta. What does that have to do with Ohio? They go, Ohio! They do! Ohio! This box is filled to the brim with good things. You just wet your finger like an 80 year old man? <laughs> yes! It's a dry piece of paper! I want to read it. I'm reading it! I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> There's other YouTube videos you could be watching right now. Hello, Junt, Frankie, Nina, and crew. I hear the Paul brothers are pretty good. <laughs> Fine, you want to read it? Read the damn letter. Hello, Junt, Frankie, Nina, and crew. We hope these Macs find you well. We have been fans of your channel since Box Mac first blew up on Reddit. Bl I wish it had blown up, but it, yeah, a, a spike of quick popularity is how I'd describe Sad it. Sad face. At the time, we were living in Los Angeles and we're living on a tight budget. Packaged mac and cheese was a luxury, so we lived vicariously through your videos. We've been, really enjoyed your other content as well and getting to know you guys. On to the package. What we sent you is a few Macs we found at our local Mark's grocery store. They are new from the Bear Creek brand and retail for $179. You're going to make us do more Bear Creek? We're going to have to now. We also sent you a product that was sold at Williams Sonoma this past fall as a Thanksgiving side. Please note that it is only a starter kit and will require more ingredients. It was originally sold for $26.95, but we got it on clearance for $14.99 after Thanksgiving. Whoa, I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited. We also sent you some local favorites. We live in Columbus, Ohio now, where Ryan grew up, so it's all about OSU Buckeyes all the time. Mm -hmm. Buckeyes, a chocolate peanut butter treat, are a local delicacy. Ooh. There are chocolate peanut butter treats in that box. There are! Although homemade or better, these are pretty good for store-bought. Abby grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and going to Cleveland Cleveland Indians games were a summertime tradition. You can't make a trip to Jacobs Field without getting a Sugardale hot dog with some Ooh. stadium mustard on top. Is there a hot dog in that box? <laughs> I don't see one, but maybe deep. We also included a little something for EJ. As a Game of Thrones fan and videographer, Ryan really enjoys EJ reviews and we both love EJ cooks. We've included a bottle of BBQ sauce produced by Great Lakes Brewing Company of Cleveland, Ohio. It's made with Ryan's favorite beer from the brewery, Dortmunder Gold Lager. Bon Appetit. Abby H and Ryan K. How wonderful. And you can get them on Twitter at, at Abby Once26 and RDK Tutorials. First, here, here's the Buckeyes. We need to start with them, don't we? People want us to be snacking while yeah, we unbox. I do. This is a multiple. Getting this open. John thinks he knows the trick. You have to pull this up. Oh my God, it's not easy. Frankie, you want. He knows. Hey, 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 there's precious Buckeyes in here. Yeah, I guess it requires a knife. Oh, Nina gonna help us. Frank is gonna stab himself. I'm not one to stab myself. Is that honestly what you're supposed to do, what I'm doing right now? No. Wait, there's another yeah. flap. Oh, you do have to break it. So why are you so confident that that's not the way? Because you break it down. You were like jabbing it upward. Uh... No, I was making a perforation. Everybody come get one. Oh God, they're melty. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Buckeyes. They're peanut butter balls that you did. Buckeyes. Buck -ock. Marsh's Buckeyes. They're peanut butter balls uh, in chocolate. Yeah, it's delicious. I mean, they're awesome. Yeah. They look like a Buckeye seed. Oh. Can I have one more? We can wipe this thing right out. <laughs> the only thing is you do want to have some kind of drink with it. Big balls of peanut butter are going to dehydrate you. I have one rocking right there. Can I get that one? Man, server Matt to the rescue. Jonathan, can I get you anything? I'm fine, thank you. Invoice me at the end of the day. Yeah. Cleveland's famous Burtman Ballpark Mustard, which I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> Oh, so that's his whole hot dog shtick. Yeah. No hot dogs, but you can get your own hot dogs, apply this mustard, you're there. I'm in the stadium. Yeah. I'm in the stadium. <laughs> Here's this beautiful bottle of... EJ's own. EJ's own. Look at that, EJ. Isn't that a lovely looking bottle of uh, barbecue? This is a pretty great box. Yeah, this is awesome. So Bear Creek Macs that look good. Grown up mac and cheese. This is beer and cheese. Grown up mac and cheese. Oh, it actually says that. Yeah. And here we got a creamy Chipotle. But they are Satchit Macs, and I am racist against Satchit Macs. Four cheese. Four cheese. I thought you were more of a three cheese guy. I am. Four is a little much. Can you subtract the cheese? I am actually a little excited about these. Maybe I've forgotten the Bear Creek's philosophy and story. You put two and a half cups of water, and then you boil uncovered, and then let it stand. You put the temperature way too low. Yes, I do. I think we've gotten them under control now. We can do better. We'll do better for you. I can't believe that this would have cost $26.95. Holy This poor guy watched us because he didn't have enough money to eat even mac and cheese. 
and now he's buying us $26. This dude's killing it. Oh my God, it really was $26.95. <laughs> I think he went from being poor to being okay. And I think that's awesome. What they give you in this kit for Ryan's $15 is a bag of breadcrumbs. That's probably like 10 of the dollars right there. A bag of a very... Ooh, it smells good, actually. Very nice cheese powder. Very nice cheese powder. This must be a new thing, Frankie, because just in the last unboxing, we also had, like, uh, we give you some of the pieces, but really, you make your own food. <laughs> I thought, like, the whole idea of a uh, box and macaroni cheese. and cheese was, you know. A turnkey solution. Yeah. Oh, this one's pretty easy. Other, like, the, unlike the other one, which you need cream cheese and stuff. This is going to definitely have to be tried. It's William Sonoma, so it's got to be pretentious. They're all ones I want to try. Yeah. Next time, we take a look at what the Colberts from Utah. I'm not even gonna show you this. I'm making graphics on the box. You're gonna have to tune in next time to see that. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry, <laughs> folks. Sorry, folks. I I'm cutting you off. You're all done. Good day. Nippon <laughs> <laughs>